Hello there, Data Recovery Guru here. Hope all is well. Today we're working on this one terabyte Samsung 970 Evo Plus NVMe M.2 solid state. Uh, this is coming from a customer in um, Lancaster, Pennsylvania. They shipped it to us here in Massachusetts. They found us online through YouTube, just like we are doing this video right now. So they went to our website, they filled out the form, and this is what the customer is describing. Is describing. My PC became unresponsive after doing a forced shutdown. Uh, the PC would only boot the BIOS. In the BIOS, the drive is not recognized as a boot drive. Try using an M.2 external enclosure to copy my data up. But after copying a few folders, the transfer started to fail midway through. I also tried to install the drive as a secondary drive in another working PC. And although I could see my files, I could not open the folders under my username because I didn't have permission. This is normal. If you take a drive, uh, from a uh, Windows machine, especially, you know, Windows 8 or newer, and you plug into another Windows machine, there's going to be permissions issues when you drill down to your main user profile. Uh, okay, no encryption, good to go. All right, so here's the solid state, plugged into our DFL magic box here. Um, we began by running some tests. We power on, the drive gets ready, and it's waiting for commands. We run a scan. As you can see here, it's scanning okay. This is the, in the beginning. But as you can see, if you are waiting longer, we discovered that the SSD is running into reading errors. Right here. Around this LBA here, 196 is running into our readable areas, causing a read error causing the solid state to freeze and the machine to be unresponsive. This is what the customer was experiencing when transferring the files. He could see the data because the metadata for showing up the folder structure was okay, no reading errors, but once you drill down and you start transferring the f actual files, the solid state will become unresponsive due to reading errors, okay? So we cloned this solid state, we cloned 99% of it, there are a few blocks of data, as you saw in the other picture here, that were unreadable. However, the recovery is 99% successful, so the customer is happy. Uh, so uh, we're going to stop this because we don't need to scan anymore. Here are the customer's files. We recovered 99% of them. Everything looks good. We transfer the data to this brand new Seagate USB external drive here that will ship to Pennsylvania to the customer, and we should be good to go. Another happy customer with a solid state recovery. If you need help, go to our website at datarecoveryguru.com. On the homepage there, you're gonna see a blue button. It's called Let's Start with a Free Diagnosis. Click on it, fill out the form, and we'll be in touch with you shortly after. Questions, text, call, WhatsApp, or signal at this number.